guys, and welcome back to Growing Up Godly. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody who's watching, even if you're watching later in the middle of October, but it's a Valentine's Day video, so happy Valentine's Day. It's not Valentine's Day yet, but since Valentine's doesn't fall on a Tuesday, we are going to be celebrating it right now. We are going to have a little discussion time with you guys talking about the five different love languages and how they can improve your relationships with others. And we have a fun DIY at the end, so stay tuned for that. Let's get on to the video. The five love languages basically are the five ways that people feel most loved. So they are physical touch, words of affirmation, gifts, quality time, and acts of service. Each person has one of those where they feel most loved, but overall everybody feels loved when all of them are given to them. So we're just gonna break these down for you. Break it down, break it down, break it down. First off, we have physical touch. Physical touch is someone like Ashlyn who just loves to be touched. Um, hugs or just like petting them or patting them or something like that makes them feel most loved. These kind of people aren't as loved when you just give them words of affirmation or quality time or acts of service. They just love to be they just love being touched. Happy Valentine's Day! Happy Valentine's Day! So our next one is words of affirmation. This is people like Alana that feel most loved when you compliment them and when you just say, hey, you're amazing, just wanted to let you know that I love you and think about you and they get letters and stuff like that. But also the, the thing about words of affirmation is it hurts them the most when you say something that hurts them, if that makes any sense. Yeah. The hardest thing for me as a words of affirmation is not taking things so literally like just being like okay what was the person's heart behind that were they just really tired or something like that because I'll take it as far as I can just because I'm words of affirmation so it hurts a lot more so people like me with big mouths have to be careful happy Valentine's Day Lona I just wanted to know you to know how much I appreciate you I love you so much Aww. number three is gifts this person feels most loved when receiving gifts. Now this doesn't have to be extravagant if you have someone in your life who loves gifts. Just a little chocolate here and a little something there will really mean a lot more to them than a hug or a compliment or a word of encouragement. And the thing about gifts is yes you want to go bigger on Christmas and birthdays but mainly gifts people love just random gifts to show them that you're caring about them. Happy Valentine's Day! I got you a gift. Oh, I love gifts! Our fourth one is quality time. These people love when you are just simply with them or you set aside some time to spend with them, let you know how much you care about them. These people, like my mom, just love when you're around them. Like, even if my dad works from home, it's a lot better than if, if he's at work because he's there in the same room. And she just feels more loved when he's just with her. So if you know someone in your life who is a quality time person, it'd mean a lot more to them for you to be there spending time with them than to send them a little gift or something like that. This is great. I'm spending time together. Totally. Number five is acts of service. These kind of people love to be served. And now they won't admit it a lot of times, but they really love to just sit down and have other people serving them. It sounds like it would be really hard to be that kind of friend to somebody, but just by making their bed or washing their car or something like that, it really means a lot more to them than you think. And it doesn't have to be these big services like you take a whole night aside and give them a whole spa experience. Maybe just a little foot rub or doing their chores with them when you're going out their house having a sleepover or something like that. Happy Valentine's Day! I just did your dishes! 
So to put these love languages into your life, remember to ask the people that you love how they feel most loved because it's really helped my relationships personally. Like with Alana, I would always be loving on her, hugging on her because that's the way I feel loved, but she doesn't like that. She'd rather me just tell her how much I appreciate her and stuff like that because she likes her little personal space bubble and I pop it. To continue talking about the five love languages, you not only want to find out what your friend's love language is, but you want to find out what yours is so that you can make sure that you're not giving love in the way that you feel loved and that you're giving it to them in the way they feel loved. Mm -hmm. This is the reason why a lot of marriages fail because the husband's like, I'm giving you a bunch of gifts and I'm treating you really nice and why don't you feel loved when the wife just wants quality time or words of affirmation. And so she doesn't feel loved, but he feels like he's putting in all this work to give her love. So if you figure that out, it will help your relationships a ton. Friends, family, even classmates, teachers, just at the people that you love and care about and you want to make them feel appreciated, find out the way they feel appreciated and, and not always give love in the way that you like to be loved. <laughs> So that is our love language discussion. We hope that you guys enjoy it and learned a lot. It'll really help you out, trust me. <laughs> There's some tests you can take online if you really don't know. And um, I never took the test. My parents read the Five Love Languages book to figure out, and mine was pretty obvious. But if you do want to look online at the Love Languages test and look one up and see if you want to take that real fast if you're just not sure. And just remember, you're not just going to have one. You're not just going to be physical touch. That's just your number one. You're going to have a number two, number three, number four, and number five. Because you really, all of them, just some are stronger than others. Now, because it's Valentine's Day and you guys requested a Valentine's Day DIY, we decided why not do some Valentine's sweets because... One of the best things about Valentine's Day is the chocolate. Yeah. Right? So I really? was in the kitchen the other day and I filmed some DIYs with chocolate covered pretzel rods, mm. chocolate covered strawberries. Mm -hmm. So let's go check that out. Hey guys, it's Alana and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some Valentine chocolate covered pretzels and chocolate covered strawberries. So to start, I just heated up my chocolate. I have this chocolate maker that I got for Christmas but you can just do the heating in the microwave or doing it over the stove top. Now what I've done is I've bought some pretzel rods for the chocolate covered pretzels and it's really hard to dip it in here. So I poured the chocolate into a tall glass so I can dip it like that. Then we're going to put some Valentine Day decoration and make it all Valentine-y. So let's get started on coating them with chocolate. So I am simply just going to be taking my pretzel, sticking it into the cup of chocolate and kind of twirling it around to make sure it gets a nice even coat, shaking it kind of over it so get all the excess chocolate off. And then I'm going to put it on the parchment paper. So I'm just going to put all of this aside for a little bit because we need to decorate them before the chocolate hardens. So for mine, I'm going to be doing two types of decorations on both my pretzels and my strawberries. The first decoration is gonna be some red sprinkles. You can probably get this at a craft store or even a grocery store. And then the second um, decoration I'm going to be doing is some white chocolate drizzle. You can do that later because you actually want the chocolate to be set when you do the drizzle, but you don't want it to be set when you do the sprinkles. So this is pretty self-explanatory. Before the chocolate dries, you're just going to want to put some sprinkles where the chocolate is on the pencil. Now, if you want to be super professional, you can lift up the pretzels and do the other side, but I'm just going to do one side um, for this video. So here I have my chocolate covered pretzels. Now I'm just going to take this white chocolate that I heated up and I'm going to take my spoon, put some white chocolate on the end and shake it over the pretzels. 
This is going to give them a nice drizzle. I need to put these in the fridge so that they can dry, but as you can see, they're gonna look really pretty when they're done. Now you can also do this with your milk chocolate if you covered any pretzels or strawberries in white chocolate. And so I'm going to show you guys how that will look. And now I am ready to dip some strawberries. So I'm going to be doing the white chocolate um, first and then I'll do some strawberries with the milk chocolate. So let's get started. breaking. Alright, so now um, I'm going to be adding the red sprinkles to a couple of these before the white chocolate dries. And now you have some white chocolate covered strawberries with sprinkles. Knock knock. Who's there? Olive. Olive who? I love you. <laughs> what did the boy octopus say to the girl octopus on Valentine's Day? I don't know. What? I want to hold your hand. Hand. And that hand. 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 <laughs> Ash, what did the stamp say to the envelope on Valentine's Day? What? I'm stuck on you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Star Wars one for all you Star Wars fans. I'm doing Valentine's Day the Hans way, solo. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley? Yes? Life would be so unbearable without you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well guys, we hope you enjoyed. Where I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day and make sure on Valentine's Day and every day to make sure the people that you love feel loved by you. We hope that you enjoyed this, this discussion, learned a lot, and that maybe you'll even try the DIY for your family and friends on Valentine's Day. They're delicious. <laughs> we will see you guys in two weeks. And this is going to be a very special video, so you're going to want to check it out. Yay. See you then. Bye. Bye.